Good day, good day. This is Malika coming with another question and answer topic. To those who have heard the message, believe in the report and are planning to come out of America, which is considered Babylon in the Holy Scriptures, I am here as your sister providing information as well as encouragement on your Exodus journey. It is a commandment of Yahweh to flee, to run, to deliver yourself from the land of the Chaldees. We have established not only on this channel through the teachings of Nabiya Sibaya that America is a place called Babylon in the scriptures as the prophets have hollered and screamed for us, the children of Yahweh, to come out of her, my people, so you partake not in her sins, nor do you receive in her plagues. It is a place. She is a whore that commits adultery, fornication, and all sorts of witchcraft with other nations. And when her destruction comes, we will see it on this side of the world. We've also established the land that Yahweh has promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the Shemites, to those who have been called and purposed according to Yahweh's name and his power, the place of the Middle East is the Holy Land, from the Nile to the Euphrates River and everywhere in between. As you are watching the videos on this channel and you are listening to the content to come out, I am speaking to a particular audience. I am not here to debate anyone who believes that Africa is the promised land. I know what the scriptures say, and I understand that there are several leaders online right now who are muddying up the scriptures and confusing the truth. The devil has indeed lied to us, but Yahweh has also established his word in the heavens and in the earth, and he has protected it. He has provided for it so that his remnant can see and discern and distinguish his word from the opinions and the uh, idolatry of men. I am doing my best to provide information in content to give you some solace in your planning as I am one of several people who have been in America prepared by way of the message to flee America and have left. I've been out of America about three years now, uh, approaching on pay- Passover season. And so I thank Yah for the lessons um, in that journey and the things that he's continuing to show me even now. Yah Yehoshua is our Passover lamb. We're looking forward to Passover next week as well as unleavened bread, continuing to remove the leaven and also the spiritual leaven, which is hypocrisy. I have on the screen digital mailboxes For those of you who may be leaving America, let's just say that you don't have a power of attorney or you don't have someone there that can help you uh, transfer, you know, shipping your mail and things like that. There is an option online to sign up for a virtual mailbox. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on this first one. All right. And this one is called iPostal. With anything that I provide with information, whether that be websites, whatever resource, I encourage you to do your due diligence to research and find the most up-to-date information so that it can be applied to you in the most efficient way. Digital mailboxes are basically a service that are around worldwide. As you are in America and say you want to come to Egypt, but you want to maintain some of your mail or some of your mail may still have to go through an American address, you can sign up for a digital mailbox. And I'm just going to read here. It says we can receive your mail. You view and manage it using our app or website and you use your digital mailbox to protect your privacy, stop mail and package theft, register your company, upgrade your business image or create a presence in multiple markets complete with phone and fax. So of course they have several options here, but if you're just a basic person like me who just needs postal services and just needs someone to open up your mail, maybe scan it and even shred it if it's not important, this company or these types of companies can do this for you. And so what you would do is you would select a plan for a basic plan They have these options, which will provide for you a real physical street address. And there you can manage your mail on your on an app and you can have your mail consolidated and shipped to you wherever you are in the world. 
But of course, that means that whichever address you choose, it will have to have those services provided. So say, for instance, I choose uh, this virtual mailing address. I click to learn more. I have here the monthly subscription as well as the yearly. And then they have these options here. So this is something that I would suggest anyone to do who doesn't have family or friends who are available and accessible in a way where they can open your mail for you and even ship to you wherever you are. In lieu with changing your address with USPS, sometimes you're asked to come inside of the building and verify your identity. If you are getting a virtual mailbox while you're already out of the States, a lot of times that is impossible to do. It is recommended that if you do not have an address change that you get a virtual mailbox. And like I mentioned before, you can receive a physical address and have your mail transferred or otherwise intercepted um, through whichever mailbox you previously had now into this virtual mailbox. What makes it virtual is that you can handle everything online and they have a carrier and an office that will manage your mail on your behalf. That's why they go through the notary public. That's why they verify your identity. That's why they ask for a signature because it is just like someone in your family or a friend who is doing that on your behalf. And so there's accountability, not only on their side, that they need to make sure that you're giving them permission to open your mail. And that also gives them accountability in the event that something is lost or stolen as well. So let's just look at some of their features here. They provide flexible shipping scheduling, whether that be on request, weekly, biweekly, or monthly. You have your choice of carriers between UPS, FedEx, DHL, and also they have discard mail item services. So they can throw your mail away for you. As you go through this process, they want a valid driver's license, which cannot be expired. You can also use your U.S. passport. And then if they need further verification, they will ask you for a lease or some type of voter registration just to verify that you are an American citizen. And then you're actually face to face with a notary when you go through this process to make sure that you're doing this service upon your own free will and that you are giving someone else permission to open up your mail. This is a pretty solid service. I was recommended this through one of the sisters in the community and so I'm very grateful for this because I actually needed this as tax season is coming up. And while I am on the topic of taxes, it is tax season. If you are receiving a tax refund of any sort and you are planning to come out of America, it's important to set aside a, either a portion of your refund or even the whole thing to make provisions for your exit. This is also a way that Yahweh provides for you to make your exodus journey out of Babylon. Hallelujah for that. Take a look at some of the plans. Um, click around the website. Look at the options that they have concerning some of these physical addresses. Some of them have um, phone numbers, fax numbers that you can receive fax information at. And so this is a really good resource if you are also an independent contractor, if you are self-employed. And this is an address that you can use in order to change on just about any of your accounts. Like this video again, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, continue to put your comments in the comments section below, and I will answer your questions with the discernment and wisdom of Yahweh by way of his Torah as well as the council and leadership that I am under. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video. Good day.